Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about the arithmetic operators in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo operators. Let's get started. You already know the addition operator. It is used to add two or more values, right? And we use the plus sign. So for example, we can store the sum inside a variable and then display it, right? Let's see this code. We are initializing a variable x to be equal to 1 plus 3. So 1 will be added to 3 and the result will be stored inside x. And after that, we are printing x over here, right? So we'll see this output. The sum is 4. Also, we can display the sum directly. So have a look over here. We are printing this string concatenated to 1 plus 3 inside parentheses. And the parentheses are important over here. If we don't use parentheses, this plus sign will be considered as a concatenation operator. And we saw this before. So after this statement is executed, we will see this output. The sum is 4, alright? And remember that if we don't use the parentheses and we use the plus operator like this, it will be a concatenation operator. So we will see the sum is 13, alright? So to display the expression correctly, we use parentheses. Now let's talk about the subtraction operator. It is used to subtract two or more values. And we use the minus sign. So this is an example. x is equal to 3 minus 1 and we are printing x, alright? And we will see the difference is 2. Also, we can display the difference directly. So have a look over here. We are printing this string concatenated to 3 minus 1. This will give us the difference is 2. But if you try to use the minus operator like this, you will get an error. So what happens exactly? First of all, this plus operator is considered a concatenation operator. So 3 will be concatenated to this string. And after that, we are subtracting 1 from the string that we will get over here. So this is why we'll get an error. So to avoid this error, we have to use parentheses. Now let's talk about the multiplication operator. It is an operator to multiply two or more values. And as you know, we use the asterisk. And this is an example. x is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. And over here we are printing x, so we will see the product is 6, okay? Also, we can display it directly. So have a look over here. We are printing 3 multiplied by 2 between parentheses, and this will give me the product is 6. Also, we can use it directly like this without parentheses. And this will also give us the product is 6. So this works with or without parentheses, alright? Now let's talk about the division operator. It is an operator that is used to divide two or more values. And it is using the forward slash. So this is an example. x is equal to 6 divided by 2. And we are printing x over here. And you will see the result is 3, alright? Now let's have a look over here. We can display the result directly by using parentheses. So this will give us the result is 3, and also we can use it without parentheses. So this over here will also give us the result is 3, okay? So this also works with or without parentheses. Now let me tell you more about the division operator. First of all, we will talk about this operator in much more details later. But before that, let me tell you this. First of all, the result of the division of two integers is an integer, alright? And we can use what's called casting to get a double result. We will talk about casting later. Also, the result of the division of two doubles is a double. And finally, the result of division of an integer and a double is a double. And this is because we will have implicit casting. And we will talk about this later. Just get the idea, alright? What I want you to know is the following. When we divide integers, we will get an integer. When we divide floating point numbers, we will get a floating point number, alright? Finally, let's talk about the modulo operator. It is an operator that is used to get the remainder of the division. And it is using the percent sign. Now you might be asking, why would I want the remainder of the division in programming? So as you will see later on, this is a very important operator. Now let me show you some examples. 4 modulo 2 is equal to 0. So the remainder of the division of 4 by 2 is equal to 0. This means that 4 is an even number. Another example. 5 modulo 2 is equal to 1. So the remainder of the division of 5 by 2 is equal to 1. So this means that 5 is odd. So this is a simple example on the usage of the model operator. We are using it to find the remainder of the division by 2. And using the result, we can conclude if the number is even or odd, alright? Now have a look over here. We have an integer x equal to 6 model 4. And we are printing x over here. And the remainder of division of 6 by 4 is equal to 2. Also, we can display the result directly. So we can use parentheses. And in this case, we will see the result is 2. And we can use it without parentheses. And we will have the same thing, alright? So it works with or without parentheses. Now let's talk about operator precedence. This specifies what to do first. Just like mathematics in school. 
So first of all, all operations are done from left to right in the following order. Firstly, we will do the operations between parentheses. And after that, we will do the multiplication and division. And finally, we do the addition and the subtraction. Let me show you an example. Suppose that we want to calculate this expression over here. So first of all, we will do the operations between parentheses, right? So we will calculate 1 plus 5 and 4 plus 2. So we will have something like this. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 and 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, right? Now we are going to do the multiplication and the division. So we will calculate 2 multiplied by 6 and the 12 divided by 6, right? So we will get 12 minus 2. So finally, we will do the addition and the subtraction. So the answer will be 10, okay? And this is just like mathematics in school. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.